But otherwise, let's rock and roll. Starting with the jumping jacks. All right, so we're definitely focusing on upper body today. But that being said, we're going to throw in some core um, here and there. Some of it weighted, um, all of it moving. So there's no sort of isolated hold or anything like that. We're going to run through eight or nine different exercises. And what we're going to play with today is weight and sort of the intervals, the work intervals that we're moving through. So we're going to start with that sort of long wake up call round and then move our way into a little bit more rapid fire rounds as we get towards the end of the workout. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and transition right into those buckets to continue to let the heart rate climb. Get the breathing rate going a little bit faster. And just really wake everything up. Shake the upper body out. Make sure everything is sort of starting to wake up and transition into workout mode. Five, four, three, two, and one. Move into those high kicks. So just warm up everything. It's been a couple of days since we worked out together, so just make sure that you're paying attention to anything that might feel a little sore or a little off this morning. Spend a little extra time there, a little extra attention. Excellent. Nice here. Three, two, and one more each side. And then right into those knees to chest. So pull that right knee up, find a little bit of balance. Open and drop left knee in. Start to pay attention here to what your upper body is doing while you're moving through these exercises. Keeping the back straight, shoulders down and back. Just starting to wake up. All of those sort of upper body structural muscles, good posture, all the way through. Let's go one more each side. And drop the head and shake the legs out. Nice wide stance. Arms up and out to the side and start those gentle pulls. Start to wake up the shoulders. Wake up the obliques here. And as everything starts to loosen just that little bit, you can pull a little bit further into the stretch. Go ahead and throw in that rotation of the arm you leave behind. Wake up those shoulders even just a little bit more. So we are focusing on upper body. A lot of compound movements in here. And there's really no getting away with an upper body workout without hitting shoulders a whole bunch. So make sure they're awake and starting to move well. Let's go one more reach each side. And then go ahead and square the hips off. Go in for your toe touches. Again, taking it nice and slow until you feel your lower back and hamstrings loosen up a little bit. You'll feel it. You'll just start to get a little bit more comfortable pulling the chest further down towards your legs. Just getting deep into that stretch. Always thinking about the biggest range of motion that you can find from these exercises with good form. There's a lot of rotation here, so you want to have good form. Let's go one more each side. Off to the top. All right, awesome. Go ahead and shake those legs out. Let's hit the upper body a little bit here. Um, just so we're not going into things like rows and tricep extensions cold. Arms at your side, thumbs facing forward, and you're just going to go ahead and lift the arms straight out in front of you until your elbows lock in at your ears. Palms face forward, and pull those elbows down, squeezing all of the muscles along the spine. Take it nice and slow. Once you hit the bottom of that squeeze, you're going to push the ceiling up off of you. So really a lot of tension here, waking everything up. And then go ahead and let your arms drop a little bit. 
of a break there. One more time here. Lots of tension. Connect to those muscles. Feeling everything out. Pulling those elbows down and back. Draw those elbows in towards the spine to squeeze. And then push right back up into the ceiling. And drop to the side. Shake everything out. And we're going to dive into this workout. So again, we have about eight or nine exercises. Everything is compound here. So we're going to hit more than one muscle group in every single exercise. We're going to start with longer work intervals to wake everything up and sort of get that baseline burn going on. We'll start to decrease our work intervals as we move through the workout, okay? So you're going to want a lighter pair of dumbbells next to you and a heavy your pair of dumbbells as well. Upper body heavy, upper body light, right? And a mat. We're going to be up and down off the mat, but we're always going to have a little bit of a break in between exercises to sort of reset, reshape, grab some water, okay? Not reshape, just shape. All right, so exercise one, grab your heavier set of dumbbells because we're going to go in for a dumbbell deadlift to a row and stand right back up. So these are two exercises Two really strong muscle groups that can handle a little bit heavier weight. And because we're fresh right now, that's where we're going to get started. All right. So, dumbbells in hand. We're going for that straight leg deadlift. Get the chest nice and low before you hit that row. Dumbbells in front. Go ahead and hinge at the hips. Torso reaches parallel to the ground. Row. Squeeze the glutes and draw yourself up. So, this first circuit through all of these exercises, we are going to have plenty of time in each exercise to start to feel that burn and really wake up the muscles that we want to play with. So, take it nice and slow. We're going to get those reps in. I really want you to follow some strict form rules here, that nice straight back. Keep the elbows nice and tight to the body because I want you to feel those same muscles in the back that you felt during that warm-up. Just connecting mind to muscle here. This is a good way to wake up the core, wake up the glutes, and the whole upper body. We've got 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, quick little break here. We're going to go push press. Dumbbells down, step it out, push up, step it forward, and stand up nice and tall. So pick a weight for your push press specifically. And we'll do the first one together. Dumbbells up. You're going to do that press. As they come down, they hit the mat. Step it out, push up, step it forward, and then just come right back up to the shoulders. Press. Bring it in, step it out, push up, step it forward, and the power. So the goal here is not for a cardio exercise of a burpee or anything like that. This is totally focusing on upper body. And because we're taking it slow, it means that we really don't have any momentum to work with. All the way through, yep. Nice and tall. Dumbbells up to those shoulders, big push press, and then step it right back out. We're at five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right. Down to the mat. I want you to take one of your smaller weights with you. We're going to pull in a little bit of core here. Russian twist to a kick out. So I have a smaller weight in hand. On your sit bones, you're going to do two twists. One, two. Weight comes to the chest. Kick it out as far as you can, and then bring it back to the center. So one, two, and then once that weight is sort of secured at the chest tight, kick it out and bring it in. There's not going to be too much to that kick out because that weight is going to add a lot of challenge to the core. So this hits obliques, all of those muscles in the front side of your abdomen and your lower back. So pretty much getting everything that we can in the core musculature right away. Ten seconds to go. 
You should be sweating already. Get ready to put that dumbbell to the side in four, three, two, and one. All right, we're gonna stick with that core vibe. Dumbbell off to the side. All you're gonna do is flip it around inchworm to shoulder tap. So you're gonna start in that high plane position. Go ahead and start with that shoulder tap, one each side, one and two, and then walk the hands back towards your toes and all the way back into that high plank position. So we're going to mix in ab and core work throughout this entire workout here, but never quite giving the upper body the whole circuit off. But we're also going to work our way through these sort of heavier exercises down to some body weight exercises. And hopefully what you start to feel is just all of the muscles coming together to work sort of as a unit, right? Paying attention what every other muscle group is doing, knowing where your body at is at. Walk it all the way out. Keep the body moving here. We've got under 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Walk yourself up. All right. Shake everything out. We're going to be back on our feet, and this time dealing with both of the lighter dumbbells. So let's work in at some shoulders, some biceps here. We're going to go side lateral raise to bicep curl. So palms start facing in. Side lateral raise. Rotate the wrist as you do this curl so they're facing you at the top. You got it, exactly. Side lateral, and then that curl. Awesome. So there's not a ton of just sort of strict shoulder work um, because we're using it pretty much through every single exercise. There's no getting away with upper body exercises without bringing shoulders in. So stick with the lighter weights on this one and work on that, that nice straight back. Shoulders stay sort of down and back in those back pockets. So you're not doing a shrug first on that side lateral raise. Yeah, 10 seconds to go, stick with it. Excellent. Big open, three, two, and one. All right. Light dumbbells to the side. Grab one of your heavier dumbbells. We've got three exercises to go before we take a real break for some water. We're going to go halos to extensions. So grab the dumbbell either side right now. Let's do the first one together. We're going to do sort of a half halo here so that your arms, boom, there's the bottom part of your extension. Press up to the ceiling. Yeah. Down and finish that halo. And then go in the opposite direction. Boom. Halo, yep, exactly. So you're sort of doing that half halo so the dumbbell's behind your head. Push up into that tricep extension, yes. Making that brain stay connected to the workout this morning. Woo, come on. You gotta pay attention to what the body's doing. You can use the video screen, of course, to sort of watch where your elbows are. Decide which way you've already done that halo, which direction you're moving in next. Here we go, under 10 seconds. Keep it rocking and then we're heading to the mat to finish up with some core work. In three, two, and one. Bring that dumbbell in and to the side. You're not gonna need it for this specific round. We're gonna go back down into that plank mode. You're doing four mountain climbers, to a Superman. So again, a lot of thought goes into this one. So, high plank position. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, and then all the way down to the mat, Superman, and then press yourself back up into that push-up position. One, two, three, four, down to the mat. So a little bit more in the world of push-ups here. Planks and push-ups, same basic movement. Woo, come on. I shouldn't say movement, I should say body structure. When you're pushing up from that Superman position, I want you to push the whole body up as one. Try not to do the worm. Try to keep that core nice and tight. I know the body's getting tired. We're almost there. Reach, lift, 
So again, keeping the mind connected to the work. That Superman, you want to squeeze all of those muscles from the back of the shoulders all the way to the glutes. Two and one. All right. One exercise to go. Then we get our break. Flip it around. We're going pure ab style here. Alternating leg raises. So, on your backs. Legs straight up in that L. And you're just going to alternate. Tap, 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 and tap. So the legs, big scissor kicks, and the upper body is reaching across the torso line to reach for that opposite toe. And you should feel like your upper body is sort of always moving. So there's no real rest period for those abs. You just sort of feel the work shift right side to left side. And keep in mind, this is our last exercise of the round. So if you're truly just feeling everything right now, you're in a good place to start us off. Keep kicking. We got 15 seconds to go. Try not to pause here to that last buzzer. Woo! Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Grab those knees. Jump into the chest. And we get our first break. We hit every single muscle group, every single muscle in the ab complex. And the best news is that we are through our longest round. From here on out, we're going to shorten those work intervals little by little. Working our way down to sort of that split finish at the end. So grab some water. If you want to make any adjustments to the weights that you chose for the workout, now is the time. All right, so a couple things to keep in mind here. One, as your body gets tired, it becomes more important that you're staying connected, that you're paying attention to the movements. Two, I don't want to upgrade my computer. Two, is that we're shortening those work intervals. So wherever you found a sticking point last time, if you were using weights and you're like, dang, this might be too heavy, keep in mind that this work interval is going to be shorter and shorter, okay? So try to stick with those same challenging weights or even up the ante a little bit, all right? So set of heavies, set of lights. We're going to start back at the top with that deadlift to bent over row. Keep things nice and slow and really good form all the way throughout. Dumbbells in hand. Nice, straight back, tight core. Three, two, and one. Hinge up the hips. Keep the elbows nice and tight to the body for that row. And then straighten up nice and tall. Yep. And what you want to think when you straighten the body is not necessarily that you're pushing your hips forward, but just locking in that soldier stance. Really strong, really steady all the way throughout. Squeeze at the top of that row so that you know that you've got control. Boom. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Ten seconds to go. I told you to be shorter. Keep pushing. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Stand up nice and tall. We get our same rest period, which is nice. We're going push press to that step out and push up. So slowing things down, really stay connected to the movement. Dumbbells up at shoulder height. Start with that push press, here we go. Up, nice straight back, dumbbells to the mat, step it out. Find that push up, step it forward, and from that bent knee position, straight back and launch, yeah, exactly. So that stand up to the push press almost becomes one fluid mo movement. It doesn't seem like it would be, but that stand up to the full press is actually the most fluid that you're going to get in this specific exercise. Whole body works together. Ten seconds, fight through. Here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Woo. Let those knees hit the mat. Push your weights out of the way. And we're going to hit the mat for two core exercises. So we're going to start with that Russian twist. 
Grab the smaller dumbbell. Set yourself up here. Two twists to a kick out. So one, two, and then kick it out as far as you can and bring it in. Hopefully what you're starting to feel this round is a little bit of a comfort zone with the exercises themselves. I totally get that first round. It's all sort of new, a lot of compound movements. But there's nothing new this round. And you're just paying attention to how your body responds. Where do you feel strong? What might need a little work? 10 seconds to go. Come on. Fight through for five, four, three, two, and one. Drop those heels, dumbbell to the side. All we're doing is flipping it around to that plank position so you get a little bit of that break heel in here. Flip it around. High plank. We're doing one shoulder tap and then an inchworm. So one and two, one, two is one. Walk those hands all the way to the toes. Feel that stretch and then walk it back out. And what I want you to feel here, what I want you to pay attention to is hitting that solid plank form. So finding that straight line before you move into your shoulder touches so that you can really lock in sort of the hips facing the mat and the shoulders as well. 15 seconds. Come on. Lock it in. Keeping it moving. Feeling super connected to the muscles right now. Four, three, two, and one. Walk it forward. All right, back up on our feet here. We're going in for those side laterals to curl. So your choice here. I'd say stick with those lighter weights, but it really depends on what you've got in front of you, what you have access to. Here we go, side lateral, and then that rotating wrist curl. And I want part of the work here to be switching gears, right? Focus on that lateral, and then squeeze the biceps. Find that tension. Bicep curl, bicep curls, excuse me. You can go two ways, right? You can ignore it and just sort of swing those dumbbells up towards your chest, or you can squeeze the bicep the whole time and get as much out of that movement as possible. And that's what we're going for. 10 seconds. Yeah, come on. This is our five, four, count down three, two, and one. All right. Swap those light dumbbells in favor of one heavier. We're going halo to extension. So once again, gripping the dumbbell on either side. Two and one. Here we go to the back. Extension. Yeah, exactly. So part of this, again, there's a little bit of a sense of sort of things being out of whack, right? Because you're used to doing that whole halo. You're used to that momentum. Just like that second exercise with the, the stand up into the push press. It changes your momentum. You really have to stay connected. Yes. Awesome. Keep those elbows nice and tight to the body, to the head, on the halo. Yup. Awesome. Awesome. And this is one that you can definitely sort of handle a little bit more weight since you're holding onto the single dumbbell. Three, two, and one. Dumbbell down. Let's hit that mount. We're going four mountain climbers to that Superman. So, high plank position, tight core, three, two, and one, let's go, one, two, three, four, chest all the way down to the mat, Superman, and again, we're really looking for nice straight lines, if you feel that that press up is sort of getting you down a little bit, you can start on the knees for it. But I think we got this all the way through. Come on. Challenge that body. And this is another one where you got to switch gears, right? You're going cardio mountain climbers to squeezing all of those muscles in the back, in that posterior chain. Come on now. Five, four, three, two, and one. Knees down. One exercise left to the round. So flip it around, alternating. Leg raises. Upper body moves the whole time. 
Legs start up above the hips. Arms out. Here we go. One and two. Constant movement here. And this exercise sort of forces the lower back to stay on the mat because of the movement. Which is great because you really are centralizing all of that work. Keep pushing. We're already at 20 seconds and the circuit two is over, so keep pushing. Come on. No pauses. All the way through it. Let those out burn. 10 seconds. Woo, come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Knees into the chest. Hug them in. Take a couple of deep breaths in. Round two is done. So grab some water, move that body around, keep it moving. Woo! All right, that brings us to one last round of work. All right, so you're not gonna see any new exercises in this last round, but once again, we're shortening that work interval. So what we're gonna do is some exercises where we had compound movements before. We're gonna tighten those up. And we're just gonna focus on one piece of the puzzle so we can sort of really get in that last burn, that last challenge here. But again, work interval, interval to me, has just gotten cut short by another 15 seconds. So if you were reaching the end of any exercise last time with a heavier weight and feeling like, holy crap, can't do it again, Try to push through this round as well because shorter time periods, you might not even hit that sticky point, right? So we're gonna start back at the top. This time, no deadlift. You're just gonna get into row form, boom, and down. All right, so we're gonna dial in that focus strictly to upper body musculature to finish up this last burnout round, okay? So with 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, that's a good time to recover in between. Grab those heavier weights. All right, so hitting mid back, lower back, hinge up the waist, hold, and here we go. Just in for that row this time. Ignore the deadlift completely. Yeah. But keep that same forearm stance in mind, right? That shoulders are really down and back. Lower back stays nice and tight. Don't give up form just because we're not doing that stand-up deadlift. Here we go, 10 seconds. Push, push, push. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stand up nice and tall. Hold on to those weights. We're going right into push presses. No step out on this one. Dumbbells up. Didn't say it would be an easier round. Just said it would be shorter, right? Three, two, and one. Here we go. Slight bend and push. Yup. Yeah, exactly. As the dumbbells come back down to your shoulders, you're already sort of sinking into that next rep. Yeah, push those tired muscles. As long as it's a muscle sore and not sort of an ache or pain, keep going. You're under 10 seconds. Four. Three. Two. And one. All right, nice job. One dumbbell down. Bring one dumbbell to the mat with you. We're going Russian twist. No kick out, just the twist. On the sit bones, nice tight core here. Two and one, here we go. Hit those obliques. Keep things nice and tight to the body. Nice and steady, slow movement. Hit those obliques. And again, we're sticking with that heavier weight, so we're really pushing it here in this last round. We've got it. Come on. Keep rocking. Keep rocking. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. Dumbbell to the side. All right, these 15 second rests really coming in handy here. So, flip it around to a plank position. No inchworm, just the shoulder tap. In three, two, and one, here we go. No inchworm. So that means that you have to keep those hips locked in nice and tight. Try to restrict, restrict, excuse me, any rocking back 
and forth. You can't get rid of it all. You're shifting your center of gravity. But keep that back straight. Keep that butt low. Yeah, nice. Come on. Five seconds to go. All the way through. Three, two, and one. Walk the feet forward. Whew. All right, shake everything out. We're going to focus on some bicep curls here. So if you're feeling up to it, grab those heavier weights because we're just going bicep curls, no side laterals. Rotating wrists, bicep curls. Here we go. So hopefully all of the muscles in your upper body are awake, are alive right now, you're sweating. And you're feeling like you're fighting through each of these reps. That's why we're going for those heavier weights. Squeeze at the top again. Yeah. Awesome. No movement in the upper body. This is great. Form is tight across the board. Four, three, two, and one. Drop one weight. All we're doing for this next exercise is the tricep extension. Excuse me. No halo. So grab either side of the dumbbell. Arms straight up. Lock in the elbows. Here we go. No halo. Just tricep extensions. Keep that chin down towards the body. You don't have to chuck, tuck it right into the chest, but it does help to keep the back in a really good posture, really good form here. Rib cage stays down, tailbone is tucked. Yeah. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. All right, before we hit the mat, don't get rid of that dumbbell. We're going for halos here, full way through. Just halos. Try to stick with that heavier weight. Three, two, and one. Here we go. So we're splitting up that last upper body movement. Boom. Yeah. Nice. Excellent. And again, you want to keep the elbows nice and close to the body here. Wrists stay strong on this one. You should start to feel those shoulders. We're hitting the mat in just over 10 seconds. Stick with it. Whew. Come on. Four, three, two, and one is dumbbell down. All right, we got just a little ways to go. Hit the mat. We're going Superman's all the way through. So really looking to hit that lower back, mid back, and last. Arms straight out. Legs behind. Here we go. Lift it up. Squeeze. And relax. Lift up. Squeeze. And relax. We're so close to the finish line here. Keep moving with these supermans. Really paying attention to that squeeze. Up. And relax. We've got one exercise to go to finish it up here. Five seconds of supermans. Three. Two. And one. All right, flip it around, one exercise to go, and we're just gonna zone in on the core. Flip it around, and we're doing those alternating toe touches all the way through the end of this buzzer. Three, two, and one, let's go. One, and two, back and forth. The abs are feeling it. We'll give the upper body a break on this last one here. But we're not giving the abs a break, so keep pushing. Let's go. Come on. All the way through it. Hold strong for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those knees into your chest. Head nice and tight. Take some deep breaths in here. You just finished upper body. Well done. Woo. Hopefully your heart rate is a little bit faster than it was. Not a ton of cardio, but still working that body pretty hard. All right, grab some water. Grab a towel if you have it, need it, want it. And then let's start that stretch from the floor. Whew, nice job, guys. All right. We're going to start on all fours. Hands placed under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We're just gonna start with a really simple cat cow to start focusing on our breathing patterns. And to really stretch out the back, start to stretch out the abs. 
Starting at that sort of core, the very center of where all of these exercises, all of this strength comes from. Dialing your focus. Slowing that breathing rate down, slowing the heart rate down. Body starts to approach normal again. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and find neutral. You're going to reach that right arm underneath the body, sort of scoop it under, and gently drop that right shoulder towards the mat. The twist is coming from the torso, and just a little bit of a stretch tiny bit of body weight pressure to that lat, to that shoulder. Go ahead and push back up to all fours. And that left hand is going to repeat that process. So scoop under the body. A nice gentle movement down to the mat to get that little bit of a stretch going on. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and back up to all fours here. Step it out into that high plank position just briefly here. And then walk the hands back a little bit so you can push your butt up into the air. And find that downward dog movement. Slight bend in the knees is just fine here. Whatever you need to sort of just find a, a, a comfort zone here. And again, we're not looking for any painful stretches here. Just giving the body a little bit of time to come back down towards normal without hopping right into real life. All right, go ahead and relax those shoulders. Walk the toes forward towards your hands into that forward fold position. And back to really focusing on breathing here, right? The big deep breath in, pull some oxygen into the muscles, jump start recovery, and then long, slow exhales, releasing tension. Mentally walk your way up from the calves, up the hamstrings, to the glutes and lower back. And then all the way down again towards your shoulders and your neck. And when you're ready, go ahead and slowly roll those shoulders up towards the ceiling. Big shoulder roll back behind you. And just shake everything out gently so that blood starts flowing again and again. Looking to jumpstart recovery. Looking to stretch those warm muscles a little bit further. 